Lincolnshire is a historical county in the east of England. It borders Norfolk to the southeast, Cambridgeshire to the south, Rutland to the southwest, Leicestershire and Nottinghamshire to the west, South Yorkshire to the northwest, and the East Riding of Yorkshire to the north. It also borders Northamptonshire in the south for just 20 yards, England's shortest county boundary. The county town is Lincoln, where the county council has its headquarters. The ceremonial county of Lincolnshire is composed of the non-metropolitan county of Lincolnshire and the area covered by the unitary authorities of North Lincolnshire and North East Lincolnshire. Therefore, part of the ceremonial county is in the Yorkshire and the Humber region of England, and part is in the East Midlands region. The county is the second largest of the English ceremonial counties and one that is predominantly agricultural in land use. The county is fifth largest of the two tier counties, as the unitary authorities of North Lincolnshire and North East Lincolnshire are not included. The county can be broken down into a number of geographical subregions, including the Lincolnshire Fens, the Cars, the Rolling Chalk Hills of the Lincolnshire Wolds, the industrial Humber Estuary and North Sea Coast around Grimsby and Scunthorpe, and in the southwest of the county, the Castevan Uplands comprising limestone hills in the district of South Castevan. History Lincolnshire derived from the merging of the territory of the ancient kingdom of Lindsay with that controlled by the Danelaw borough of Stamford. For some time the entire county was called Lindsay, and it is recorded as such in the 11th century Doomsday Book. Later, the name Lindsay was applied to the northern core, around Lincoln, and this emerged as one of the three parts of Lincolnshire, along with the parts of Holland in the southeast and the parts of Castevan in the southwest, which each had separate quarter sessions as their county administrations. In 1888 when county councils were set up, Lindsay, Holland and Castevan each received separate ones. These survived until 1974, when Holland, Castevan, and most of Lindsay were unified into Lincolnshire. The northern part of Lindsay, including Scunthorpe Municipal Borough and Grimsby County Borough, was incorporated into the newly formed non-metropolitan county of Humberside, along with most of the East Riding of Yorkshire. A local government reform in 1996 abolished Humberside, and the land south of the Humber was allocated to the unitary authorities of North Lincolnshire and North East Lincolnshire. These two areas became part of Lincolnshire for ceremonial purposes such as the Lord Lieutenancy, but are not covered by the Lincolnshire Police and are in the Yorkshire and the Humber region. The remaining districts of Lincolnshire are Boston, East Lindsay, Lincoln, North Castevan, South Holland, South Castevan, and West Lindsay. They are part of the East Midlands region. The area was shaken by the 27th of February 2008 Lincolnshire earthquake, reaching between 4.7 and 5.3 on the Richter magnitude scale. It was one of the largest earthquakes to affect Britain in recent years. Lincolnshire is home to Woolsthorpe Manor, birthplace and home of Sir Isaac Newton. King's Grantham, located in Grantham, was the school he attended. Its library has preserved his signature, applied to a window sill when he was a teenager. Belton House, Boston Stump, Gainsborough Old Hall, Harlaxton Manor, Normanby Hall, Tattershall Castle, Thornton Abbey, Economy. This is a chart of trend of regional gross value added of Lincolnshire at current basic prices published by Office for National Statistics with figures in millions of British pounds sterling. A components may not sum to totals due to rounding. B includes hunting and forestry. C includes energy and construction. D includes financial, intermediation services and directly measured agriculture. Lincolnshire is an agricultural area, growing large amounts of wheat, barley, sugar beet, and oil seed rape. In South Lincolnshire, where the soil is particularly rich in nutrients, some of the most common crops include potatoes, cabbages, cauliflowers, and onions. 
South Lincolnshire is also home to one of the UK's leading agricultural experiment stations located in Sutton Bridge operated by the Potato Council. Sutton Bridge Crop Storage Research engages in research for the British potato industry. Mechanisation around the turn of the 20th century greatly diminished the number of workers required to operate the county's relatively large farms and the proportion of workers in the agricultural sector dropped substantially during this period. Several major engineering companies developed in Lincoln, Gainsborough and Grantham to support those changes, perhaps most famously Fosters of Lincoln, who built the first tank, and Richard Hornsby and Sons of Grantham. Most such companies are long gone, and Lincolnshire is no longer an engineering centre. Today, immigrant workers mainly from new member states of the European Union in Central and Eastern Europe comprise a very large component of the seasonal agricultural workforce, particularly in the south of the county where more labour-intensive crops such as small vegetables and cut flowers are typically grown. This seasonal influx of migrant labor occasionally causes tension between the migrant workforce and local people. In a county which is still relatively unaccustomed to the large-scale immigration experienced by other parts of the United Kingdom, however, as a result of the current economic climate some food production facilities have closed down. This has caused some reduction in the levels of migrant workers. The large number of people from Portugal is still very obvious in the town of Boston, and in Grantham the large number of Polish workers is still very apparent. Politics Westminster parliamentary constituencies The Conservative Party won nine seats in the 2010 general election and clearly became the largest party in Lincolnshire considerably increasing their vote share at the expense of Labour. The most high-profile casualty being Gillian Merrin who lost her long-serving Lincoln constituency. Lincolnshire County Council A coalition of Conservatives, Liberal Democrats and Independents currently controls Lincolnshire County Council, with Labour as the opposition party. 2009 election The Conservative Party comfortably controlled the county council following the 2009 local elections, in which they increased their majority to 43 seats. The Labour Party lost a total of 15 seats including seven in Lincoln, whilst the Liberal Democrats lost three. The Lincolnshire Independents gained a total of four seats, although one of their number moved to the Conservative group during 2010, increasing the number of Conservative seats to 61. The Collective Group of the Lincolnshire Independents the Boston Bypass Party and other independent councillors formed the opposition for the four-year term. 2013 election In the 2013 county council elections, the Conservatives lost their majority and formed a coalition with the Liberal Democrats and Independents. The UK Independence Party made significant gains from the Conservatives, particularly around the town of Boston, due to opposition to Eastern European immigration. UKIP were initially the opposition party with 16 councillors but now have only 10 after the others broke away to form a new party, UKIP Lincolnshire. They are currently looking at changing their name to remove the UKIP reference altogether. 2011 AV referendum The AV referendum was the first to be held within Lincolnshire since the 1975 EC referendum and was only the second time ever that the people of Lincolnshire have been asked to vote in a referendum. The referendum asked voters whether to replace the present first-past-the-post system with the alternative vote method for electing MPs to the House of Commons in future general elections. The proposal to introduce AV was overwhelmingly rejected by voters with all eight counting areas within Lincolnshire returning significant no votes. The seven shire districts and two unitary authorities within Lincolnshire were used as the counting areas. Police and Crime Commissioners on 15 November 2012 the people of Lincolnshire voted for the first time to elect police and crime commissioners. 
Two commissioners were elected within Lincolnshire, one to cover the Lincolnshire Police Force area whilst voters in North Lincolnshire and North East Lincolnshire voted for a commissioner within the Humberside Police Force area. As was the case in other parts of the country the elections were marked by extremely low turnouts. In the Lincolnshire Police Force area the turnout was 15.35% and in the Humberside Police Force area 19.15%. Lincolnshire Police Humberside Police Services and Retail According to an IGGI study in 2000, the town centres were ranked by area thus, Lincoln, Grantham, Grimsby, Boston and Scunthorpe, Spalding, Stamford, Skegness, Louth. Sleaford, Gainsborough, Brig, Cleethorpes, Bourne, Horncastle and Marblethorpe, Public Services, Education Lincolnshire is one of the few counties within the UK that still uses the 11 plus to decide who may attend grammar school. As a result, many towns in Lincolnshire have both a grammar school and a secondary modern school. Lincolnshire's rural character means that some larger villages also have primary schools and are served by buses to nearby high schools. Lincoln itself, however, is primarily non-selective, as is the area within a radius of about seven miles. Within this area, almost all children attend comprehensive schools, though it is still possible to opt into the 11-plus system. This gives rise to the unusual result that those who pass the 11-plus can attend a grammar school outside the Lincoln Comprehensive Area, but those who do not pass still attend a non-selective comprehensive school. Transport being on the economic periphery of England, Lincolnshire's transport links are poorly developed compared with many other parts of the United Kingdom. The road network within the county is dominated by single carriageway A roads and local roads as opposed to motorways and dual carriageways. The administrative county of Lincolnshire is one of the few UK counties without a motorway, and until several years ago, it was said that there was only about 35 kilometres of dual carriageway in the whole of Lincolnshire. The M180 motorway passes through North Lincolnshire, splitting into two dual carriageway trunk roads to the Humber Bridge and Grimsby and the A46 is now dual carriageway between Newark-on-Trent and Lincoln. The low population density of the county means that the number of railway stations and train services is very low in comparison to the county's large area. Many of the county's railway stations were permanently closed following the Beeching Report of 1963. The most notable reopening has been the line and two stations between Lincoln and Sleaford which reopened within months of the beach enclosure. Most other closed lines within the county were long ago lifted and much of the track bed has returned to agricultural use. A daily through train service operated between Cleethorpes and London King's Cross via Grimsby, Market Raisin and Lincoln Central until the late 1980s. The Humberlinks executive as the service was known was operated by AHST 125 unit but was discontinued following the electrification of the East Coast Main Line. Passengers now have to change trains at Newark when traveling to and from London. However, the East Coast Main Line passes through the county and one can catch direct trains to London. A proposed two-hourly service promised by National Express East Coast between Lincoln and King's Cross has yet to start running, though was promised to start running by 2010. Most rail services are currently provided by East Midlands Trains and Northern Rail. Virgin Trains East Coast and Cross Country Trains have services which pass through the county, with Virgin Trains East Coast frequently passing and stopping at Grantham on the East Coast Main Line and a daily return train to Lincoln which is at the end of the branch line while cross-country trains stop at Stamford on their way between Birmingham and Stansted Airport. Stations along the Humber are served by First Transpennine Express services between Manchester Airport and Cleethorpes. Lincolnshire boasts one of the most infrequent services in the UK. Services on the Sheffield Gainsborough Central Cleethorpes line sees trains only on a Saturday with three trains in both directions. 
This line is, however, used for freight. Calls have been made to reintroduce an hourly service on the line. As of the 22nd of May 2011 Virgin Trains East Coast have started running a Lincoln London service. One train travels both ways each day, and a northbound service is there on a Sunday. East Midlands trains also run a daily service each way between Lincoln and London St Pancras. Though the service is more a stopping service and takes around three hours via Nottingham, compared to Virgin Trains East Coast's service to London King's Cross which takes around 1 h 50 minutes. The only airport in Lincolnshire is Humberside Airport, near Brig. While small, it serves all of Lincolnshire. Robin Hood Airport near Doncaster is within travelling distance of much of Lincolnshire and provide a wider range of flights. The county's biggest bus companies are Stagecoach Grimsby Cleethorpes and Stagecoach in Lincolnshire. Several other small companies also operate including Briar Lane of Boston, Delane of Bourne and Hornsby's of Scunthorpe. A Sustrans cycle route runs from Lincoln to Boston in the south of the county. Healthcare The United Lincolnshire Hospitals NHS Trust is one of the largest trusts in the country employing almost 4,000 staff and with an annual budget of over £200 million. The north of the county is served by the Northern Lincolnshire and Ghoul Hospital NHS Foundation Trust. Lincolnshire shares the problems of elsewhere in the country when it comes to finding an NHS dentist. With waiting lists of eight months not uncommon, some of the larger hospitals in the county include Diana Princess of Wales Hospital, Grimsby, Scunthorpe General Hospital, Boston Pilgrim Hospital, Lincoln County Hospital. Since April 1994, Lincolnshire has had an air ambulance service. The air ambulance is stationed at Raff Waddington near Lincoln and can reach emergencies in Lincolnshire within 25 minutes. An A&E hospital is only 10 minutes away by helicopter from any accident in Lincolnshire. Drainage separately to the commercial water companies The low-lying parts of the county are drained by various internal drainage boards such as the Black Sluice Internal Drainage Board, Whitham 4th District IDB, Lindsay Marsh Drainage Board, or the Wellen and Deepings Internal Drainage Board, Towns and Villages. The non-metropolitan county of Lincolnshire is characterised by the absence of any major urban areas, apart from the areas in and around Lincoln and Boston. However, the Skegness in Goldmills and Chapel St. Leonard's areas along the Lincolnshire coast are becoming increasingly urbanised as people holiday at large caravan sites during the summer months. These holiday makers are not reflected in census or local population figures, though it is estimated that during the height of the summer months there are over 100,000 such people residing in these areas along the Lincolnshire coast. This has an appreciable impact on the local infrastructure and amenities. For a full list of Lincolnshire towns and villages see the list of places in Lincolnshire page. Coastal tourism. The majority of tourism in Lincolnshire relies on the coastal resorts and towns which lie to the east of the Lincolnshire Wolds. The county is home to some of the most well-known seaside resorts within the United Kingdom and is a major attraction to visitors from across England especially the East Midlands and parts of Yorkshire. There are three main coastal resorts within Lincolnshire along with a number of smaller village resorts. The main county seaside resort of Skegness with its famous Jolly Fisherman mascot and famous slogan, Skegness is so bracing, with its neighbouring, large village coastal resorts of Ingold Mills and Chapel Street. Leonard's provides the biggest concatenation of resorts along the Lincolnshire coast due to their close proximity of each other and due to the number of large caravan and holiday sites. The resort offers many amusements, leisure activities and beaches and retail shopping and is home to Butlins Skegness, Fantasy Island, Church Farm Museum, Natureland Seal Sanctuary, Skegness Stadium, Skegness Beer and several well-known local golf courses as well as good road, bus and rail links to the rest of the county. The second largest concatenation of resorts along the coast is the small seaside town of Marblethorpe. 
famous for its golden sands and its neighboring village resorts of Trusthorpe and Sutton-on-Sea. These areas also offer leisure activities and is also home to large caravan and holiday sites although the area is less developed with fewer amusement arcades and nightclubs and poorer road links to the rest of the county although the area offers a more traditional seaside setting. The rail service to these towns was axed during the beaching era of British Railways. The third concatenation of resorts is the seaside town of Cleethorpes and the large village resort of Humberston within northeast Lincolnshire and is home to Pleasure Island Family Theme Park. Cleethorpes Coast Light Railway and Cleethorpes Pier along with its local golf courses and caravan and holiday sites are a major attraction to visitors from the north of the county and across the north of England. Cleethorpes is well served by road and rail being easily accessible from the M180 and the first Transpennine Express route to Manchester. Nature is an attraction for many tourists. The southeast of the county is mainly Fenland that attracts many species of birds, as do the nature reserves at Gibraltar Point, Salt Fleetby and Theddlethorpe. The reserve at Donanuk also has a native seal colony popular with nature lovers. The market towns of the Lincolnshire Wolds, Louth, Alford, Horncastle, Caister and Spilsby are also attractive, with several having historic links. The Wolds are quite popular for cycling and walking, with regular events such as the Lincolnshire Wolds Walking Festival.